Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Saki from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to boost the battery life of your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. And of course, this can be any smartphone. It could be the S20, it could be the S10, S9, S8, Note 9, whatever that you have. Once you configure these settings, you're going to get one to two hours of extra battery life every single day. Now, first, a quick bonus tip to quickly boost your battery. Simply go to your settings, all right? Go into sounds and vibration and tap on the vibration intensity. And from here, what you want to do is you want to lower all these vibration intensities either to minimum or at least just one tick above the minimum okay the harder your phone vibrates the more battery it is wasting and that's right off the bat is going to save you a lot of battery now let's get started after this bonus feature the very first thing i'm going to talk about has to do with your display so as you know the display eats most of your battery life so we are going to configure all the settings related to your display to give you a boost. First thing you wanna do, if your phone is equipped with it, you wanna go down over to the screen resolution. You wanna tap on it and you wanna make sure that you have it in the middle. You don't wanna have it over here because that's the resolution that eats most battery. And of course, if you bring it over here, it's gonna save you even more battery life, but then the quality of the screen is not gonna look very good. So the best thing is to keep it at middle ground so you can have good quality and good battery life. And of course, the next thing you want to do, again, if your phone is equipped with this feature, you want to go to motion smoothness and go to the standard 60 hertz refresh rate. As you can see, it says get longer battery life. And then you want to click apply and that's going to give you better battery life. And of course, another trick is to go up over here, find the dark mode and switch over to dark mode. All right, because because this is an OLED display, anytime you have a darker background in the back as a wallpaper or as a system theme, it is going to consume less battery life. So this right over here with the bright screen is wasting more battery life than the dark theme over here, which also means if you go to your home screen and if you pinch the screen, go to your wallpaper, and if you look for a wallpaper that is dark, such as this one right over here, it's gonna save more battery life than this one over here, which is in fact brighter, okay? Just something to keep in mind. Let's go back to our settings. And for this video, we're gonna go back to the light mode. Now under display, there's a very important setting that really is gonna help you boost the battery. So that is the screen timeout option. Make sure this is set to 15 seconds. So when you're not using your phone for 15 seconds, it's just sitting here, you're not touching it, it turns off, and the display stops wasting your battery, all right? Uh, but if you keep it at 30, that's fine too, but 50 is gonna give you the maximum boost. A lot of people have this at one or two minutes for no reason, you're just wasting your battery. There's a couple other features we gotta configure in, in relation to the display, but first, let me go over here to connections, all right? And what you wanna do here is you wanna go into your Wi-Fi, and then you wanna tap on this button right over here, and you wanna go into your advanced settings. Once you are in the advanced settings, what you want to do is you want to enable the Wi-Fi power savings mode. Now, again, Wi-Fi is a component of your phone that eats a ton of battery. So configuring this is going to give you a slight boost. So make sure this is enabled. And what you can also do is you can also disable features like these. So it says turn on Wi-Fi automatically. You don't want to do that. You want to manually control it because if it does turn automatically, something is happening without you knowing, and it's also eating more battery life. So make sure this is disabled, and this over here is enabled. Now, one more thing you wanna do, you wanna go back over to your connections, all right? And then you wanna scroll down and go to more connection settings. You tap on it, and over here, you wanna make sure you disable this. Now, this is a nearby device scanning feature. If you go inside, it tells you exactly what it does. And of course, because it is turned on at all times, 
it is scanning for a device to connect to, which you don't want to do because that's also eating your battery life. So make sure to disable this uh, so it's not scanning for devices and it does not eat your battery. All right, so let's go back over here. The other thing you want to do is you want to go over here and you want to go over to your device care under the main settings. Go to device care and then you want to go into your battery. Now, once you're over here, there's two things you want to do. First, just go over here, enable the adaptive battery and also enable put unused apps to sleep. Now, this is going to basically just manage your battery so it doesn't overdo itself for no reason. And this one will put unused apps to sleep so they don't run in the background and waste your battery. Okay, so that's one thing you want to do. And then you want to go to your power mode and you want to make sure you keep optimized setting enabled for a good balance of performance and the battery. You can also go over here to medium power savings mode. You tap on it and you can choose all these options to save even more battery life. For example, it's going to turn off the always on display, limits the CPU speed to 70%. So you don't get maximum performance, but you get much better battery life, reduces the brightness a little bit and changes the screen resolution. You click apply to, uh, to make sure these changes go into effect. Now with this one, if you don't want to change any one of these, you can actually tap this and choose your options and customize it from here, okay? You can do the same thing with this one over here. So just so you know, these are customizable modes, but you can also pick the presets if you want. One more thing we have here is, instead of switching between all these settings or uh, manually, you can choose this one, and it's going to adaptively switch between these modes by learning your usage pattern. Now in this case, I would prefer to uh, configure these things manually, so I'm gonna disable this. Just go from here to optimize and you should be good to go. You get good performance and good battery right there. Now let's go back out and find even more tricks to uh, boost your battery life. So the next thing you wanna do, if you're not using things like GPS at the moment, you can scroll down and on demand cancel the location services. That's gonna save you so much battery right off the bat. So if you know that you're not using GPS and things like that, just turn this off because in the background, location is constantly refreshing for all these applications and it is uh, taken away, chipping at your battery life, okay? If you don't need it, just disable it. One more thing, if I go into my lock screen, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna turn off your always on display or if you want to have it on, that's the always on display. Let me just show it to you, show always. So that's gonna be the always on display. It does uh, waste battery, okay? So let me just go in here real quick. And what you wanna do is you can do tap to show, all right? So it only shows up when you tap the screen for a quick glance at your notifications and the time. So now when I turn off the display, it's not coming up, but if I tap, it's gonna just show it to me for 10 seconds. So that's good uh, if you wanna do that. But if you turn this off, it's just gonna save you even more battery. Now, I'm gonna show you three more things. These are features you disable, but they give you a boost, okay? So first, you wanna scroll down, go to advanced features, go all the way down and disable video enhancer. Video enhancer enhances your videos by making the phone more vivid and more bright. If you enable it, it is gonna eat the battery when you're watching any one of these apps over here uh, for video, okay? So disable that. You get a quick boost and then go to the top to the main screen go to the top go to sounds and vibration go all the way down go to sound quality and effects and turn off dolby atmos that also actually eats battery life it gets you better sound quality at the expense of battery again you don't want to disable these for nothing but if you're stranded you're trying to maximize the battery you go in there you turn off these settings you can turn them on later when you get a full charge. And the final thing is over here. So again, now go to the display, scroll down and find the edge screen. Okay, go to edge screen and turn off edge lighting. So edge lighting, basically every time you get a notification, uh, it gives you these nice effects, okay? So you get some effect on the sides of the screen and also an effect on the top over here. All these things, they're nice to look at but they do waste your battery, okay? So that was the last thing I wanna talk about. And again, you can turn these things on or off as you please. 
And if you do it all together by a combination, they're going to give you that big boost of one to two, sometimes even three hours of extra battery life. All right, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.